This is a Domino's American Hot Pizza. And this is a McDonald's Big Mac. And today we're gonna to be recreating all of our favorite fast food meals at home. And there's gonna be a mystery prize for this fan, which you can win at the end. And Daddy Fizz is gonna be the judge who's blindfolded and he's gotta guess which one is the authentic meal. But wait, mum, 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 look. Fizz fan, can you remember in our Spend the 24 Hours in Harrods video when we bought this Christian Dior bracelet set for one of you? So we have finally picked one of you guys to win it. Who is? Gracie Moyes. Thank Aww. you so much, Gracie, for such a I lovely you message. Like it. And congratulations on winning this, and we will contact you as soon as possible to arrange sending this to you. Love you, Gracie. Absolutely genius idea of how to decide the first meal. Spin a person around and then get them to randomly choose one. They don't know what order they're in either. Ready? Mia, are you well? Are you spun enough? Very good. <laughs> the double muk plant which is their vegan mm. version of a big mac let's see what's in Ooh. the burger okay so we've got the sesame good. seed bun the classic lettuce i see some ketchup, ketchup mayo and Ooh. also tomato slice i think it does have a special vegan sandwich sauce in it as well Ooh, guys oh, which really? we need to try and recreate and yeah. then two pates and cheese, cheese. Mm. and then what's on the bottom is it dry <gasps> Ew. Yeah. It's dry. What? Uh, look, wait, wait, I just. It looks like ours has what? been bitten into. Has what? someone bit? What? What? That is not weird. Burger. I promise it's not me. This is not meant to be like this, but oh it's been gosh. bitten into. I'm just going to have a little flavour taste test to remind me what the sandwich sauce tastes like. Sure. I might have to do one too. <laughs> you know what? I think I might have to do one three. Mm. So, because this is a double McPlant, isn't it? A double McPlant, yeah, yeah. we're going to need two burgers, burger patties, that's what they're called, aren't they, in the US. Yeah, Here we yeah. just call them a burger. I don't know if that makes sense to you in the US. And these are Beyond Meat ones, which they are actually in the McPlant. This is the actual brand of burger patty they use. Really? They look it's quite a bit big. Different. I think these are thicker ones for like yeah. homemade, like yeah. barbecue. If you look at that one, one, it's quite flat. thin. We need to try and squish it a bit. I we think. need to squish <laughs> it. But don't you think this? I out. feel like everything is really mini served at McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I always know. think that. Do you want to put some oil in there, girl? Should I be okay. the head yeah. chef and you two be my um, assistant chef? Assistant chef. We'll be the assistant chef. So if I'm doing anything wrong, which sometimes I do make mistakes. Let me know though. Okay. Because I don't want to mess this up and I really want you guys to win this time, the mystery prize. So. Yeah. Do you want to turn the oven on, Sienna? Sure. Do you think mm. we should add salt as well? Because I'm pretty sure yeah. everything is super salty. Okay, I'll go get yeah. salt. By the way, if we're doing anything wrong in this video, comment down below and let us know like your tips on creating fast food at home. Yeah. It's really weird, feel it. Ah, uh, it's like it's, complete squish. It, it, it's Ooh, not a solid careful object. Careful when we put that in then. Uh-oh. Ah, Sorry, Mia. Why you two girls are doing that, or do you want to be in charge of the patties, Mia? Yeah, I'll be yeah, in charge of the patties. I'm going to be in charge of the filling. So Ooh. let's take over. I'll be on the cheese filling. job. Like I'm SpongeBob on. right now. By the, the way, Mia, job. you might need to put salt on it. Some okay. salt. Inside the McDonald's McPlan, there is, I'm not gonna just check it because I actually took a screenshot of what it says on the website. It's a vegan burger made of two juicy plant-based patties co-developed with Beyond Me, as we know, featuring a vegan sandwich sauce, ketchup, mustard, onion, pickles, lettuce, tomato, and a vegan alternative to cheese, which we've got here, which is Biolife. But I think we should start preparing like the onion and the veggies to go in yeah. it and then add the sauces. So who's gonna be crying? Uh, you can. Okay. We're not gonna do a wine tray hand. We're actually gonna have lettuce and tomatoes in our burger. Yeah, it's sort of like little strips of lettuce and then a slice of tomato. I have no idea if I'm doing this right, but I'm just trying to like cut the sort of bottom leaves and stalk. These smell so good already. <laughs> They're Maybe almost done. done. We just need to add some salt. More, more. No, I've already added loads. Look, oh, oh my gosh, we're gonna have so much salt, mum. You don't understand. I've already added loads. No, but like, no, fast it's gonna be it's so salty, Mia. Oh, oh, no. Stop it! You told us to stop. To tell you to stop. I'm telling you to stop right now. 
right now. No, Fizz fan, you agree with me. More salt. It has you don't know how much I've already been putting on throughout the whole cooking process. Okay, are they really done? Because me and yeah, Sam have prepared so everything and we're yes. ready to make the burger. Golden on the sides. Mm -hmm. I think that means it's done. No time to make the burger. So we have a plain sesame seed bun that we showed you earlier. And look, no bite marks. It was dry. So we have to put one on the bottom here with no okay. sauce underneath it, which blows That's my mind. Weird. The bread looks like... Right. Mia, it looks like they've toasted it a bit. Yeah. Just don't worry, he won't notice. That isn't going to make him rip, think yeah. it's the authentic one. No. In fact, I reckon our one's going to taste better. Our burger already looks so much yummier. Right. This feels kind of weird. Oh, weren't we meant to squeeze them down and make them flat? I did. I've been yeah, constantly um, squeezing them okay. down, but they don't well, go So down. what's next? Slice of mm, cheese. I'll Just do that. one slice. Hang tight. Only one slice. I was making the burger. I would put like five slices. And then it has two patties. And then it's another patty, Mia. No, you're gonna break it and it's not <laughs> mom. Oh, I had to carry my impulsive thoughts, I'm sorry. <laughs> the intrusive thought won in that situation. Dang. Perfect. Sorry, sorry about that. I've just got to clean up my hands with that boiling hot fat. Anyway. Mayo. No, no, it's it's not mayo. I think it's their, is it mayo? No, it's their vegan sandwich sauce, which I think is made out of mayo. I'm just guessing right now. Um, and then a bit of like, I've got some like gherkin, Relishy pickle stuff. Yeah, I'm just making it out a bit up. Flavor to yeah. it. We'll give it Does a Does it have mustard in it as well? Yeah, I think mustard is um separate. separate. Oh yeah, yeah I see mustard ketchup. at the top. Okay, so let's and add And tomato ketchup at the top. Let's add mayo. I didn't know what else we could put in it, the mayo, to make it like that, so I'm just guessing. I reckon it's only a tiny little yeah, bit. Yeah, because you want it to still look white like mayo, but you want a bit more flavor. No, I reckon that's more than enough. Oh. Mum, you put oh. too much. The first bit was you good. You mixed it up, you responsible. <laughs> no, that actually looks all right. That looks good. Should we try a bit? Look. They barely put anything in it that you can't even tell. It does taste very pickly, but is it because there's already a gherkin? more mayo in it. Yeah, because there, to... there was a gherkin and I think I ate it though. Yeah. How many gherkins do they put in? Just like one? Probably one or two. I think they normally By the way, two. we call them gherkins in the UK, but they're pickles in the US. Okay. Doesn't taste as good as their one. Oh no. I don't know, but it's gonna it? have all the other stuff mixed in it. True. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. do you want, so that I, goes on top of this. Do you want to do it soon or I'll let you do it? Uh, now? Yeah, it sure. We'll let you be responsible. Okay. That's it. Good girl. Yeah, that looks almost like too much. Like that's too good. My favorite thing ever when I was pregnant, can you remember how much mm. of these? It's just one pickle. And that, oh, that's yeah, perfect. <gasps> oh, and then the tomato ketchup and mustard. And yeah. And I then, think put mustard first, then the ketchup on this. Yeah, that's perfect. Ooh. Ready? Ketchup. Oh, that looks so good. I can't Ooh. believe we're, I can't ready? believe yeah. this, guys. You ready? Yeah, yeah. we yeah. definitely yeah. done it right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Squidge it down a bit. They're always a bit squished down, aren't they? Look. Oh my oh, gosh. That's that is so realistic. Bigger, and bear in yeah. mind, we have actually like crunched the stuff yeah. right? but we do have a spare one which has been untouched by our mags and hopefully hasn't been bitten in by the staff. <laughs> Well, I'm in a pitch black room right now, so I can smell burgers though. If you switch them around, then there's also no, like, whatever. Spin the plate around loads of times. Spin it a hundred times, Mia. Yeah, but it doesn't matter anyways, because he doesn't know which order we're going to feed them to. It actually starts making you see stars behind the black. So Ready? <laughs> okay, should we start with this one? Yes, I think so. Okay. Open your, no, put your hands down. I'm going to feed it to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, aha. Uh -huh. I'm trying to get a bite for you. I'm trying to my nose. <laughs> Stop. I'm trying to my nose. Is that mm. a good burger? Oh, really nice. Country dad, lovely patty. Sauce is nice, nice and salty. I guess the roll wasn't particularly noticeable. I sort of got a bit lost, but really delicious. Nice flavours, all goes together well. That I would say that is a really high quality burger. That's good. Do you feel like you just went through a McDonald's drive-thru? I do, yeah. Go on, number two. Open wide. So it feels a bit soft, it's a bit more bready. I'm really noticing the bread on this one. I didn't really notice the bread on the last one. Okay. Mmm, lovely sauce though. I feel like it's not much patty, it's just a bit missing. There is a really like good depth of flavour there though. Like the umami sort of taste. So which one is the authentic burger? Is it one or number two? I think that the actual fast food burger was number two. No! 
However, that was number one. I like number one the best. But that means number we don't one. get a point, so we're less likely to get Number one was the most delicious. Mm. It means Dad gets a point, and if he gets the most point in this whole challenge, it means we don't get to give the mystery prize to you, and we don't get it. But let's hope that we can no, get the I most points. Well, you just go guess honestly. Because McDonald's burgers are kind of skinny, even though it's a double, I could just notice that there was a lot of bread in comparison to the other one. Oh. Yeah. I, that felt like some sort of gourmet burger. Like in my mouth, I could feel it. There was loads of patty. And I yeah. know McDonald's not yeah, like it's that. Yeah, it's because if that was against the Burger King burger, though, the Burger King burger is pretty fat, isn't it? Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah. 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 I did actually want this. <laughs> so Ooh, this ready? is mm. the plant-based so American yes. hot from Domino's. Wow. <gasps> and we've got the garlic and herb plant-based dip. Let's try it. Lots of pepperoni. Mm. Look at that's tucking in like some hungry vultures. Mm. Mm. Chilies are so good. Mm. Mm. Spicy. I love the spiciness. Mm. Mm. Nice thin crust, Italian crust red is enough. Red pepper on it. Red onion. I mean, red onion, yeah. Lots of cheese. Onion and vegetables. So do we think we can mm. recreate this, girls? Yeah. Yeah, this should be easy. I've actually got some really good ingredients that I ordered, which I thought would make this really authentic. So I'm excited Ooh. to show you this fam and you girls. Instead of us having to use one of those really dry and cardboardy pizza bases, you know what I mean? The really yeah. Really made oh, ones. Yeah. Yeah. I've actually got some pizza dog here. And this is actually, so I thought if we made what? the pizza dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's the matter? Why are you laughing? Dog. Why are you laughing? It's pizza dog. It's not pizza dog. It's dog. dog, pizza dog. No, it's dog. What are those English dog. words that you pronounce dog? It's dog. What? Okay, let's do it. Please, are they gaslighting me? It's pizza dog. No, guys, is she gaslighting us? It's pizza dog. Anyway, right, so instead of us making it from scratch or having to resort to one of those cardboard bases, I've actually got a pre made pizza dough. <laughs> that was so hard to say. And um, how many of them? So these are into, for two pizzas. Do you think one would be enough? Or it looks need? pretty small, and considering we've got such a big pizza, I reckon we're gonna need two. It does rise and get Ooh, bigger. So it's thin. Yeah, yeah, I think, think you one. Really need one. How big does it say of a pizza it makes? Do we have a pizza tell us? tray? No, we don't. Well, I swear we had one. I thought we had one too. It's because we've lived in like a hundred houses, so it's probably really one of those. It was in house 98, wasn't it? Right, I've got a solution to this. Yeah. For some reason, the pizza tray has gone MIA. So what we need to do is, I'm going to let you do it. I think it never existed. We need to put some coconut oil on here uh -huh. to grease this, and this is going to be the pizza tray. I know it's not round, and what I want you to do, me, I want you to punch and let all your anger out on that piece of pizza dough. Is that what I have to do? And then yeah. roll it out in a nice circle and try and emulate this. Yeah. And then we'll do the toppings, which is the fun part. This. Yeah. Go on, punch all the haters, Mia. All those haters. I'll stretch, roll, and shape your dough into a rough, rustic, sort of circular shape. There you go. Sort of circular. Sort of, I like that. No, but or I am definitely going to with it. Mum said we should open up the next packet yeah. as well, but, but then it'll make it makes a 12. It looks too it tiny. The worst case scenario <laughs> is that the pizza's really tiny and really thin and dry, and then Dad knows it's the homemade one. Mia! <laughs> it's actually yeah. turning into a circle. Yes! <laughs> We need to make it more round. Uh, okay, guys, um, you, would, you meant to do it on a flat workshop. It's sticking. I don't know if this is a technique. Oh my god! <laughs> it's <laughs> working! This is. Why is this working? <laughs> you made a no. hole! Mom, you made no. a hole! Do you think that will do? We could cover that bit with cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Does it like expand? Yeah. Right. Oh, fit. Probably too much. Uh-oh, we used two packets. We need to put the passato on. Like the That's pizzas enough, and dominoes. I reckon. They're more, they're not really about like, the veggies and tomatoes. They're yeah. about the pepperoni. Look, see? Like if it's I make pizza at home, cheese, I want it to be really? super saucy. Now let's get some mozzarella. Lots of mozzarella. Wait, yeah, yeah, it's cheese. Yeah. And this is um, a vegan mozzarella by Italian Life. 
Yeah, I reckon we've we'll probably taken enough there. Because I feel like if there's too much cheese on it, he'll know that's yeah. not the authentic one because like they do ration it. pepperoni now. Right, so we have this corn vegan pepperoni. Mm. And this looks very good, doesn't it? I've never yeah. tried it before though. No, they've got it on a pizza then. It yeah, looks they really have. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it's basically the same. Taste test. Do you want to yeah. taste test? Yeah. Mmm. It needs cooking. Mmm. I think it needs cooking, doesn't it? Mmm. They have three going down in a line mm. like that on each mm. segment. Mm. I'll let you girls do that. I think our pizza's a bit small for this. <laughs> yeah. Red onion. I love red onion. By the way, Fizz fam, if you haven't already joined the Toby Club, make sure you go and subscribe to this video and like this video and I will do the worm in 10 seconds. Hello. <laughs> nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Everyone. Right, I okay. guys. In the next video, I promise I will do it. I will wear a different top. I can't believe I did that. I'm so sorry about that. Look, they have a lot of jalapenos, so Some I'm gonna add... Some pepperonis came out. <laughs> I'm gonna add loads. Yeah, there's quite a few. Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> that's not adding them, that's eating them. These ones aren't as spicy. Yeah. I tried one of those by themselves and they're like really spicy. These but ones maybe it's because they're cooked. They've been yeah. cooked already. And they're gonna shrink a bit. Yeah. Step number six, bake until the crust is golden brown and delicious. Around eight to ten minutes. Ooh. Bye bye. 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 Step. Eight to ten minutes. Time for my favorite ever dip. So I need to taste it first, just to. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna start off with some garlic. Let's start off with like that. We don't want to make it too much. Let's add some mayo because we can always add more. It's better to add too little than too much. Mayo. And then we've got some Himalayan pink herb salt. So it's got salt in it, but this was the only herbs that I could find in our cupboard. So hopefully it doesn't make it too salty. Let's mix this up and see how it looks. Cause it's also about recreating the color. Okay, this, we're definitely gonna need more mayo in here now. This is way too much. Way, way, way more mayo, guys. Guys, can I get your opinion? Yeah. No, not yet. I have to do no, taste no, this mix. No, no, I'm gonna try the original. Okay. The authentic. Oh yeah. Oh, it's got mustard in it as well. Oh. And vinegar. Yeah, and lemon juice and loads of stuff. But there's all stuff like pea protein. Like how, where do you even get pea protein from? And what even is that? Remember, the mayo will have like lemon oh, juice yeah, and stuff Oh yeah, the, well. the mayo has it Let's in. Put a little the bit. mayo does have mustard in it. Yeah, look. Put a and bit. lemon, so a tiny little bit more. Okay. Of that. No, 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 because you've already got loads of mayo. No, but I think it needs some more. Cause look. No, 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 no. That looks good to me. That looks honestly really good. Okay. Let me taste this stuff. Go on then. Tell me, is it good? It is actually quite good. Oh my god, no! It's it really too strong. strong. It's a bit too strong. Too salty. No, 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 no. Is that strong? Strong. Have you not tried that? One? I have. It, it tastes, tastes identical. Too much salt. No, 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 no. Don't mess it. Don't mess it. It tastes identical. That's amazing. Right, guys. So this, right. So when we give this to Daddy Fizz, we do need to put this in a little tub. We won't let him see the tub, but at least if it's in a little one, that looks makes us think it's the authentic one. <gasps> wow. wow! So thick. Oh no, that's bad. It looks like a huge mega pizza. That's my fault. The crust. Right, anyway, it. yeah, but remember you're putting it in his mouth, so he's not gonna know. So here it is. This is the Domino's authentic American hot. Here it is oh, family fizzes. Vegan American hot made at home. Pizza. Smells cake. nice. Pizza. Cake. You made cake. Yeah. Uh, no. Nice. We made two Domino's pizzas. Ready? I'm going to dip it in a sauce for you to try it. Oh. Take a little nibble. A little nibble. Very doughy. Sauce is really nice. It's delicious, but it's kind of soft. Pizza Go on. I'm not immediately on the hand and I'm getting flavours now. Tastes a bit bready to start with. Sauce is not as good. So which pizza is it? I feel like maybe I could taste the pepperoni a bit on that one though. Oh, it's really tricky. Pizza one or pizza two? To be two? honest, the fact they're called American hot, I didn't get hot from either of them. I don't know if it's just the bit of the pizza that you gave me or what, but I'm gonna go, what am I saying? Which one's the authentic one? Yeah, yeah. Which one's the takeaway? One or two, decide, come on. I'm gonna say, one is my favorite, two is the takeaway. Oh! God! What are you doing? This is not fair, that was number one, that was number two. 
Yeah, one's my favourite. Yeah, we're oh, trying to get this for the Fizz Fam. I'm sorry, Fizz Fam. I'm so sorry, but I promise you, we're going to do our best in the next one. <laughs> on it but it shouldn't be what we've got is the bacon king double whopper <gasps> no, oh no they have so, i see it do you know what i love about burger king is that they have a giant sesame seed yeah. bun not a tiny little one no it's and good. then in this one they're oh, big boys cheese. Look, four slices oh, of cheese yeah four and then we've got the bacon, bacon. in it and this Mayo, burger ketchup. is all plant based as well me you didn't eat it but that is weird <laughs> We've got some creamy tomato ketchup and let's try it for dinner. Yeah. No, they have done that thing as well though. No sauce on the meat. them do it. Mmm. 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 The bacon. Smoky. Mmm. Tastes like a barbecue. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I'm really excited to make this one for this fam. <laughs> for the plant based bacon, King Double is bacon with a K. We've actually got some good news and bad news. We've got good news. I've actually got the same brand of vegan Ooh, bacon with bacon that's in it. Really that we've seen this advertised on bus stops everywhere. Yeah. On buses. Mm. So that's the good news. The bad news is we have only got a small burger bun. In Burger King, they use the Impossible Burger. Now I couldn't find that in the UK, so I got the closest to the Impossible which I could get. Moving Mountains. Which oh, is as juicy. I think that's going to be quite similar. And then Mia's discovered something as Look, well. Look, guys, there's literally no vegetables in this burger, though. It kind of makes me feel a bit like, mm, I like Burger King more, but I'm not so, liking this burger because there's no onion or lettuce or tomato, so we don't even need any of that. Right, so I know. The main well, focus the is noodles. bacon and cheese, which is quite I nice. Know. I'm worried about the bun situation. But luckily, Dad doesn't get to see what he's eating, and we're yeah. putting it in his yeah. mouth for him. Let's just shove it in his mouth right, quickly. Yeah, do you want to make the patties? Okay. And it's two, remember, because this is a yes. double. Mm. You can make the patties, get the oil in there, get a sizzling, and me and Sienna will try and make... Well, it's really simple. It's just yeah. egg-free mayo and tomato ketchup. And we've just discovered Fizz Fam as well. We think this is one bacon rasher. Yeah, Split it into like four. It. They're not that generous with the bacon, but no. they do have four generous slices of cheese. The, um, bread as well. So we need to just give one rasher to Mia. Okay. Do you think we should cook two just in case one goes wrong? That is a good uh, idea. Yeah, yeah, probably. Made from plants, not from beef. I thought I should make two pieces of bacon just in case something goes wrong. Something's gone wrong to both of them. Look, they're breaking it off. I don't think you'll no, notice no. it. They're done. Their bacon actually is, well, I know it's falling apart in my hand, <laughs> but it is actually in chunks. And it looks like the bread has been toasted, but can we be bothered for that? Is no. it toasted or is it not? No, no. actually, look, it just looks like there's it's burger juices. Yeah. Anyways, burger dry. straight on it. That looks juicy. Cool, Ooh, I want it yeah, juicy. That yeah. looks dry. Ooh, Ooh that looks Two so good. slices of cheese, no, no. Food hygiene. Pate yeah. again. I think, yeah, another pate. pate. No, 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 it doesn't have mayo. No, that's, that's pate. the pate. No, no, but where's that mayo? Yeah, from? but that, we're gonna put that on next. It's so juicy. Oh, I get what you, yeah, sorry. No, I think we need to put a bit of mayo as Cheese well. again, right? I can't tell if that's just like spread onto there I from think above. It, yeah, I, I think so. They were just putting it, I bet, yeah. I bet they were like, yeah. cheese, cheese, burger, cheese, cheese. Ketchup, then mayo, I think. Do you say tomato sauce or ketchup? Put the ketchup on there and ketchup. put the mayo on there. Ketchup tomato on there, sauce. mayo on there. Because tomato sauce is something different. Not too That's much. what we have with pasta. <laughs> to me, it just seems like kind of a missing something. Oh! <gasps> it's missing well, something! <laughs> That's the whole point of this! We were then going to make it and give it to Dad and it didn't even have the bacon in it. Right, that's it. She put loads in it so he thinks, no. it's, so he thinks it's the offensive one. That actually does taste smoky like real bacon. That, that is good. This is burger number one, okay? <laughs> <laughs> It feels quite dry. Like the ingredients are very separate. It doesn't really feel like they go together. Uh, one with the universe. Mm. Now I've got another two. Can I do it? Oh, I've been... Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Open. Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought it was going to have a crack, I've got a dab in face. Sorry about that, darling. <laughs> that one's really bacony. One minute you're shoving your food in his mouth, and next you're calling him darling. It's the bacon double whopper. Bacon king, actually. The bacon king. The second one was the most bacony, so I'm going to say that's the authentic one. means that I've liked your ones the best every round so far. We're there. We're all, I reckon we're going to win one of them now. Come on, we're going to win you that mystery prize, Miss Fan. Which hand, Sienna? Don't look. That one. Chaos! Yay! Yay! I really wanted you to get this one. So we really love Chaos because I love that like so spicy, nice. that secret recipe on the bread yeah. bit, whatever you call it. Right. Secret recipe, and we're gonna find out the recipe today. So we've got the vegan KFC chicken burger here. Ooh, very that nice. yumminess. Lots of lettuce. Sesame seed bun again. It's kind of a bit of an oval <sighs> shape. Got that lovely crispy chickeny bit in it. Mayo and lettuce. Oh, you have a bite. <laughs> I know you want to. Go on, you have a bite. No, you don't. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I barely put it in your mouth. <laughs> This is simple, but it tastes really good, and it's because of the burger. It's because of the seasoning. <laughs> Are you right? <laughs> it's the ingredients, so you can make this at home as well, Fizz fam. We actually do have a corn, vegan, hot and spicy burger. I don't know Ooh. if it's the exact one that KFC has had, because they've done a collaboration. I don't know, but this one looks really, really good anyway. And then it's really simple, isn't it, girls? Because it's just got lettuce and mayo in. Yeah, easy peasy. Easy. easy. Simple. Oh, I love lettuce. the combination of lettuce and mayo. It's like made to go together. So literally. should we just check, sorry, Sienna, mm -hmm. if these need to be fried in the oven. It's oven 18 minutes Ooh. at 200 degrees. So do you want to go and put one in? Because there's only okay. one in there. Yeah. And I'm going to get the burger by myself. I'm going to have a look at what the lettuce looks like. Okay, little strips again. Do I put it on a tray? Yeah, I can help you with that. <laughs> I'm just going to put it straight in. Okay, let's have a breakdown of the burger. First up, ooh, we've actually got mayo and lettuce on the bottom. KFC delivered. Uh oh, guys. Oh, they do it the opposite. They do it the opposite. <gasps> Did you know that? That's yeah, really but interesting. When I tried some, it, so it was super dry though, so I think it is best yeah. to put it on the top. No, mum. No, mum, there's too much. Ready? Look how much Ready? is in there, Mum. How simple is this one to make? I know it doesn't make anything it. like it, Fizz Fam. This is but like if it was a different shape. It's like when you've gone into like an editing software and you've just stretched it out. Literally. Yeah. That's what I do to my butt. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry. Here is our homemade one and real deal. Oh. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Right, so this is the KFC burger, okay? And one is homemade and one is authentic. Is it, are you feeding me or not? You ready? Yeah. Send us doing it this time. You, you need to tell us if it's finger licking good. <laughs> yeah, is it finger licking good? Mmm. Did the kernel make this? It's got a nice punch to it. Is it the kernel? It's got a good sauce. Yeah? Mmm. Quite is... ready. Ready, yeah? Okay, so this is burger number two. Mum's feeding a cheese, so watch uh -oh. out. <laughs> <laughs> Not really breadcrumbs so much on that one. No, which one is the most flavorful? Oh, it has got a good flavor though. Okay, which one is the authentic one? Is it burger number one or is it burger number two? It's really hard because they're so similar. The second one had a good flavor, but it didn't really feel like it had the breadcrumb thing on it. And obviously they're famous for their breadcrumb thing. So I'm going to go for number one's the authentic. <laughs> See, you can hear the crisp. Mm, like the the better, better. So much better. Yeah. That one is better, Fizz Fam. Haven't even tried it. Wow, it's literally 2 2. Right, 
So now Fizz fam, this is gonna be the last decided one on whether one of you guys actually get the mystery prize or, or I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited for this one. Even though it's not time for breakfast, we actually have a breakfast burger bun from Leon. I think that looks like a bottom of it. The sausage muffin. The vegan sausage muffin. I Plus love this. It's very micro. I think this is a good one to make at home for fam, like in the mornings at the weekend. When that is a good idea. For like a breakfast at home. I think this is so cool. Yeah, I actually like it for like lunch as well. <gasps> It's amazing. So I know with Leon, their, their muffin is made out of like sourdough. Ooh, and then yeah. also they have spinach in it, which makes it healthy. Mm -hmm. And then this is like a sausage burger patty. And then Ooh. it's so nice. And they have a really famous sauce in there. I just have to. Shall I be on burger patty duty? We've got these plant-based sausage burgers from Moving Mountains again. I love the sauce. That is so nice. This is the what sauce. This is fruity ketchup, and it's their famous one. You can actually buy it in the shop. So I thought, why try and recreate it when you can buy it? Because that's the point of the challenge. No, but why I think we're just so going to fall down. But people one. recreate it because you can't buy like the KFC seasoning and you can't buy the sauces, mm. but you can actually buy the Leon. And then we've got some True. spinach to pin it. This is so easy, Mia. Get yeah. for it. I must say, I am rather concerned because this is the biggest burger we've cooked so far, and those are the smallest buns we've had so yeah, far. Yeah, look at them. Yeah, well, no. Sauce on top and then sauce on the bottom. But at least it's a sausage one which we managed to find. I'm really happy about that because I think that's what makes it Wait, I've got an idea. Once it's cooked, why don't we just cut like around the edges to make it that smaller? That's a great idea. So this is actually called a muffin, isn't it? It's not yeah. actually a burger, so I apologise about that. I'm going to cut these in half. There's right. sauce on the bottom and the top, by the way. Is there? So, oh! Yeah. I'm going to try this. I like Leon for doing that. It's so fruity, mm. isn't it? It's really mm, nice. It's nice. It's sort of... Slightly like spicy. Mmm, that's actually mm. amazing. Like mango chutney. And then about seven, eight leaves. Do you think spinach? they ration it or do you think they just. Or oh, maybe maybe less actually. Yeah. Six? Um, okay, six, mm. but two of them are tiny. Can you guys remember when we opened a McDonald's up in our home? <laughs> Yeah? I just don't... Wait, I think we need to cut around the edges. Or yeah, we me too. Should we make it look smaller? It yeah. I've oh, got a good tip. Yeah. That one looks sharp. Should we do it? <laughs> yes. Let's do it. Oh, and it's too small now. No, but it's fine because it's, it's going to be sizzling. Like, look, see? It's slightly smaller than the actual bun. Uh oh, how are we going to get out? <laughs> <laughs> this could go horribly wrong. Ooh, wow. Oh, that is oh, wow. That's perfect. Wow. That is amazing. <laughs> That is the weirdest thing I've ever Mia, seen. Mia, you love donuts. Yeah, that's like a burger for donuts. Like a bagels. Yeah. Right, do you want to do the honest, Sienna? <laughs> that looks really good. That oh looks, my god. That looks authentic. Which one is which? Hang I on. would lose. Should that. we just make sure that it, look? <gasps> I can't even tell. That is that's good. Oh I'm, wow. I'm happy. Yeah. Me too. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> you know what's so hard? What? I was about to say, I'm sorry guys, but I recognise the sauce, I know it. But then you've actually got the same sauce <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So it's down to the burger I mean, and the bun. That is 100% the Leon's breakfast muffin that I recognise. Don't you want to try the second one just to be like sure, yeah? Yeah. Okay, this is the second one. That is also 100% the Leon's breakfast muffin that I recognise. I'm not joking, they're identical. They're absolutely the same. It's so like I need to touch the coin, I don't know. One or two, you have to choose which one. Which one is the most? If you had to choose, if, if it was your life dependent on it, which one would you choose? I don't know. Uh, I just have to pick at random. Like, basically write one and two on some pieces of paper and I'll just grab hold of one. No, of why don't you just grab a burger? I'm going to spin them around. That's the authentic one. Yeah! Woo! Woo! Do you get the prize, Fizz Fam? That was so tense. So Fizz Fam, you get the mystery prize, and the mystery prize is going to be a gift card of fifty pounds to spend on any fast food of your choice. Leon's breakfast muffins. Um, yeah! <laughs> Yay! Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget to comment your part of the Toby Club um, to win the gift bag.
Sasha. Love you so much. Yeah, thanks, Bye. Bye.